Hello, hello everybody, this is Tip Top MTG here today with another MTG Arena video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over what the vault is on MTG Arena, how to get the vault, and how to check your vault progress. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that have not even heard of the vault, yet alone know what it is. The vault is a system that allows you to get more wild cards and makes it so that random fifth copies of commons and uncommons don't go to waste. Essentially, when you open a pack, you get 1 rare, 2 uncommons, and 5 commons. The rare is duplicate protected, meaning that you won't open a rare that you already have 4 copies of from that set. However, the commons and uncommons are not duplicate protected, so if you open a 5th copy of something like Shock, you literally get nothing. Well, sort of. This is where the vault comes in. So if you open a 5th copy of a common, you get 1 vault point. If you open a 5th copy of an uncommon, you get 3, and once you reach a 1000 vault points, you will be able to open the vault. So, in order to get a full vault, you would need to open a 1000 5th copies of commons, or about 334 5th copies of uncommons. Because this number is so high, many players have never seen the vault. When the game was back in beta, the vault was prominently displayed in the upper right corner, showing what percentage of the way you were. Now, finding your vault progress is much more difficult. We'll get into that here in a second. Now, what do you get from the vault? So, you've gotten all these extra cards, opened hundreds of packs, what is your reward? Well, you get one mythic, two rare, and three uncommon wild cards. That's it. It's simply a way to turn tons of uncommons into mythics and rares. The system, in my opinion, needs an overhaul, but that's for another video. Generally, I would say playing to get the vault is a bad idea. Generally, you just want to play how you already are, and when that day comes that you can open the vault, you can get some extra wild cards. It's not something that you should be going out of your way to strive for. However, if you wanted to farm vault progress, there are a couple things you could do. First, draft. If you draft and repeatedly pick the same common slash uncommon, you will get vault progress much faster, as you are able to select which commons and uncommons you already have four of. On top of that, if you have tons of commons and uncommon wildcards, you can use them to fill out all of the uncommons and commons for a set, so that when you open a pack, you guaranteed get 11 vault points. Now, this is an extreme tactic, but if you have more common and uncommon wildcards than you know what to do with, and you're low on rare and mythics, it actually could be worth it. So, how can you check your vault progress? Well, there are two main ways. The first, which is easier, is to install a third-party game tracker. These help you with many aspects of the game, and most can give you an up-to-date percentage of your vault. Uh, you may notice that on some of my videos, in the upper left, it says MTG Arena Assistant, uh, and it's just a useful thing that tells me, like, what cards I have left in my deck, my win rates with my decks, you know, it shows me all my matchups, keeps track of my gold, and also my vault progress. The other way to find out your vault progress is to check the game files yourself. Here's how to do that. But actually, before I talk about the steps, you, f you first need to make sure that detailed logs are on. In order to check and or turn them on, open settings and click view account at the bottom of the menu. There should be a checkbox at the bottom of this new page that is opened. Make sure it is checked. Then go to MTG Arena and click on the settings gear in the upper right. Click Report a Bug at the bottom of the menu, and then click Capture Log. You'll be brought to a folder on your computer where you can see all of your logs for the game. However, you won't be in the right folder at this point. What you need to do is at the top, where it shows you kind of the file path, it'll be like Magic, MTG Arena, MTGA Data, Logs, and then the folder you're in, you want to go back and click on Logs. And then after that, you want to click on another folder called Logs, and in this one, there should be logs that start with UTC underscore log. Make sure that this is what they look like, and that it's not the log you just downloaded. For some reason, the log you download doesn't show vault progress, so you do have to kind of get around the system a little bit more. You'll want to open the latest one in your choice of text editors. Most people can just use Windows Notepad. Next, you want to click Ctrl and F on Windows or Command and F on Mac to open the Find menu. In that menu, type Vault Progress like you see on screen. The number you see next to the string of text is the percentage. So if Vault Progress said 54.4, you would be 54.4% complete with the Vault. 
This is the way you'll have to check your vault at least at first. If you don't need the wild cards from the vault uh, immediately after you get to 100%, you can choose not to open the vault, and what that will do is it'll leave the vault icon in the upper right corner. From there, you can check your vault progress at any time in game, and generally this is what players will do until they desperately need wild cards. So you can get up to 200%, then redeem the vault, and then you'll still have one remaining and you'll be able to keep track of it. You are not losing rewards by waiting and using it to check your progress. So that's a little useful tip that you may not have known. Overall guys, that's going to do it for this video. This one is a bit of a shorter one. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the vault for players who maybe haven't seen it or heard about it so you guys know what is happening with all your extra cons and uncommons. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more content like this, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.